How to Lose Belly Fat Belly fat is more than just a cosmetic problem. When we have excessive abdominal fat, belly fat, it increases our risk for chronic diseases. Excess belly fat can put you at risk for a variety of diseases, including Type 2 diabetes, certain types of cancer, such as breast and colon cancer, heart attacks and heart disease, high cholesterol. Belly fat includes two different types of fat. Subcutaneous fat, fat that is stored just under the skin. It can be found all around the body. Visceral fat, fat that is specific to the midsection. It is found deep in the abdomen and around organs like your liver and stomach. Visceral fat releases hormones and chemicals that can increase inflammation and insulin resistance, which is linked to type 2 diabetes. Hence, we must lose belly fat. To lose belly fat, we must be mindful of what we eat, exercise, and manage our stress. Enjoy the video, then give it a like and share it with your friends. This will help the channel. Number 1. Eat plenty of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber helps fight belly fat. Soluble fiber absorbs water and forms a gel that helps slow down food as it passes through your digestive system. The fiber promotes weight loss by helping you feel full, so you naturally eat less. It may also decrease the number of calories your body absorbs from food. Good sources of soluble fiber include oats, nuts, seeds, beans, Brussels sprouts, legumes, avocados, apples, and berries. Make it a point to include soluble fiber in your diet every day. Number 2. Eat a high-protein diet. A high protein intake tends to boost metabolism. It makes you burn more calories around the clock, including during sleep. A high protein intake has been shown to boost metabolism and increase the number of calories burned by about 80 to 100 per day. Several studies have shown that people who increase their protein intake tend to start eating fewer calories. To increase your protein intake, eat more of the following protein-rich foods. Meats, like chicken, turkey, lean beef, pork, etc. Fish, salmon, sardines, haddock, trout, etc. Eggs, dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, etc. Legumes, chickpeas, lentils, etc. Number 3. Do not eat sugary foods. Eating foods with added sugar can cause weight gain. Studies have shown that added sugar has harmful effects on metabolic health. When you eat a lot of added sugar, the liver gets overloaded with fructose and is forced to turn into fat. Eliminate sugar in your diet. Do not take sugary drinks. This includes sugar-sweetened beverages, sugary sodas, fruit juices, and sports drinks. However, this does not apply to whole fruits, which are extremely healthy and have plenty of fiber that mitigates the negative effects of fructose. Number 4. Do not drink too much alcohol. Alcohol intake is associated with having a bigger waist because when you drink alcohol, the liver burns alcohol first as a fuel source before your body uses anything else. This includes glucose from carbohydrates or lipids from fats. When the body is focused on processing alcohol, it is not able to properly break down foods containing carbohydrates and fat. Therefore, these calories are converted into body fat and are carried away for permanent storage in your body. Alcohol also suppresses testosterone production, the primary metabolic hormone. This can last up to 24 hours following consumption. Hence, drinking alcohol will not only delay your liver's ability to break down fat, but it will also obstruct your body's access to testosterone, which is needed to help in the breakdown of fat. Therefore, it is advisable to avoid alcohol to reduce belly fat. Number 5. Cut back on carbs, especially refined carbs. All foods create an insulin response. A spike in insulin can lead to an increase in belly fat. Refined carbohydrates and simple sugar cause a much larger spike in insulin than whole grain carbohydrates. White flour, white bread, white rice, pastries, sodas, snacks, Pasta, sweets, breakfast cereals, and added sugars are the main sources of refined carbohydrates. They are also added to all sorts of processed foods. 
These foods not only lack nutrients, but because of the insulin response, they also store belly fat, even if you keep your overall calories reduced. Hence, avoid refined carbs. Whole grains also trigger an insulin response, but because of the fiber and protein in the whole grain, this response is reduced. As a result, you have less insulin circulating throughout your body, and therefore less belly fat is being stored. As carbohydrates are necessary for our healthy balanced diet, do include whole grains such as oats, quinoa, buckwheat, and barley in your diet. Also include other healthy carb-rich foods such as vegetables, fruits, legumes, and root vegetables in your diet as they are a good source of dietary fiber and should be our body's key source of energy. Number 6. Eat fatty fish every week. Fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel are considered extremely healthy because of their high protein and omega-3 content. Omega-3 fats can protect people against inflammation, coronary heart disease, and cancer. Some studies suggest that omega-3 fat can help to reduce visceral fat. The NHS states a healthy balanced diet should include at least two portions of fish a week, including one of oily fish. A portion is around 140 grams. Number 7. Avoid food that contains trans fat. Trans fats make you fatter than other foods with the same number of calories. According to researchers at Wake Forest University, trans fats increase the amount of fat around the belly. They do this not just by adding new fat, but also by moving fat from other areas to the belly. Wake Forest researcher, Lawrence L. Brutal, PhD, says in a news release, diets rich in trans fat cause a redistribution of fat tissue into the abdomen and lead to a higher body weight even when the total dietary calories are controlled. Experts all agree that reducing the trans fat you eat can reduce your visceral fat. Trans fat is found in meat and dairy as well as deep fried or processed food. Trans fats are also found in vegetable shortenings, some kinds of margarine, and in manufactured baked goods such as cookies, crackers, and snack foods. A major source of trans fat in American diets is fast food fried in the stuff. Number 8. Drink green tea. Green tea has zero calories. It also tends to fill your tummy and take you to a point of satiety thereby preventing you from binge eating fatty food. Green tea has many compounds including caffeine and polyphenols that affect the body in several ways. One of them is boosting your metabolism, which helps to speed up the rate at which your body burns calories. When your metabolic rate is improved it automatically aids in overall weight reduction, which also shows on your abdominal area. Studies reveal that green tea consumption can boost metabolism by up to 4%. Some studies suggest 2 to 3 cups help you get a flatter tummy. The antioxidants in green tea break down an enzyme called norepinephrine, which further stimulates the nervous system to burn fat, which is released in the bloodstream. Do note that green tea is a powerful stimulant, so it shouldn't be taken too many times in a day. Green tea will be more effective in your goal for belly fat loss if you use it as part of an overall change in diet and exercise. Number 9. Try Intermittent Fasting. Intermittent fasting involves entirely or partially abstaining from eating for a set amount of time before eating again. Some studies suggest that this way of eating may offer benefits such as fat loss, better health, and increased longevity. Proponents claim that an intermittent fasting program is easier to maintain than traditional, calorie-controlled diets. Intermittent fasting helps in three ways with unwanted belly fat. Firstly, by not consuming any calories for set periods you are reducing the total amount of calories you consume. This is without making any other change to your diet. Secondly, intermittent fasting increases catecholamines in the bloodstream. These hormones increase blood flow to the subcutaneous fat regions, meaning the stubborn belly fat is targeted for fat mobilization. Lastly, by fasting for some time, the primary fuel source of your body is shifted from carbohydrates to fat. As a result, all your movement activities and exercises performed during the fast are directly leading to fat loss. Number 10. Reduce your stress level. Stress leads to the release of the hormone cortisol. When you are stressed, 
your cortisol level will be raised. According to research, our immune system will be impacted and our blood pressure will be raised if we have a high level of cortisol over a prolonged period. This will result in us gaining weight and having difficulty in losing weight. The research also found that people who had higher levels of cortisol in their bodies tended to have larger waist measurements and higher body mass index than those with lower levels. You may wonder how excess cortisol gives you excess belly fat. Well, cortisol can release fat from storage and send it to your belly, which in itself may also increase the production of this hormone. Then, high blood glucose together with suppressed insulin that is caused by excess cortisol can starve cells of energy. In response, the body will send hunger signals to the brain, which causes you to want to eat more, leading to overeating. Any unused glucose will be stored as fat in the body and abdomen, thus the belly fat. To reduce belly fat, you must reduce the stress levels and the concomitant cortisol levels. To reduce stress, you can do exercise, go brisk walking, meditate, etc. Number 11. Get plenty of restful sleep. Poor sleep is strongly linked to weight gain. If you have fewer hours of sleep, your weight will be significantly more than those who get adequate sleep. Short sleep duration is one of the strongest risk factors for obesity. Research indicates that too little slumber reduces your fat cell's ability to respond properly to the hormone insulin, which is crucial for regulating energy storage and use. Over time, the disruption to insulin is responsible not only for the belly fat at the midsection, but can also be a risk factor for type 2 diabetes, heart attacks, and stroke. Insulin also affects appetite-controlling hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin is responsible for telling your brain that it is satisfied or full. Ghrelin tells you when you are hungry. When we lack sleep, our leptin levels drop and ghrelin levels rise, an effect that increases our appetite during the hours where we are awake, meaning we tend to eat more but feel less satisfied. You may crave unhealthy food, which is high in sugar or fat, which results in putting on more weight, especially at the abdomen. An adult should have at least seven hours of sleep so that your hormones do not rack havoc on your goal to reduce belly fat. Number 12. Do aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise, also called cardio workouts, are exercises that vary in intensity to increase your heart rate and intake of oxygen. This process can raise your body's metabolism to burn fat more efficiently especially belly fat. To burn off unwanted belly fat, we must incorporate physical activity into your daily routine. Here are some exercises for belly fat that you can try to help you slim down your waistline. It is recommended to include at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise or cardio into your daily routine to reduce visceral fat. Some great cardio or aerobic exercises for belly fat include walking, especially at a quick pace, running, biking, rowing, swimming, cycling. It takes determination to have a balanced and healthy diet and consistent exercise to achieve the desired result, but the result is rewarding as you will have a healthy body. Share with us your experience in losing weight in the comments section below. We love to hear from you. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you will be informed of new videos. Thank you.